this is my freelance makeup kit. Um, I actually got this bag from Michaels and I have this bag on top of this foldable table. I take this table um, to places where I'm going to be doing makeup just in case they don't have anywhere for me to set up my makeup. I find this very convenient. It's not that heavy but it's perfect. I got it at Walmart for 35 bucks I believe. Um, so yeah, I'll show you my case. This first section right here is where I keep kind of like the random stuff. Um, in here, these you can detach this so it can go all the way down. Um, but I just leave it like that. Um, right here, there's a slot, like a little slot. And here I keep my notebook. For example, I have a bridal trial. I will write down everything that we did on that trial so we don't forget on the day of the event. And then right here, I also keep my folder where I keep my bridal contracts. And I also keep a receipt book just in case. And I got this one from the dollar store. <laughs> And then right here in these little compartments down here has a compartment. Um, it's just empty, but I usually will put like my dirty brushes and stuff like that in here. Um, and in this pocket right here, I keep little hair clips just in case I need to take the, you know, the hair out of my client's face. So that's where I keep hair clips, hair ties, and all that kind of extra stuff. And on this pocket right here, this is where I um, keep all of my glitters and pigments. All of my glitters are from NYX Cosmetics. Now on this section right here, um, I just put my disposable mascara ones right there. And then in here, I have my mixing palettes. Now these mixing palettes I got from the dollar store um, just because of the fact that every time I would place my orders online I would forget to add my mixing palette um, and they're like around $12 to $15 just because they have the logo on them but there's basically just a flat surface with like metal and I actually got these at the dollar store and it's actually supposed to be like a measuring cooking tool. Um, that you chop things with but it works perfect and I actually got two of them just in case so I got two um, mixing palettes for two dollars which is a pretty good deal to me and then down here this is um, I just keep some random little um, trash bags right here just in case you know when I'm done and everything I just like pop one of these and clean up all my mess and then right here, I just have more little Ziploc bags and stuff like that just in case. And whenever I'm done and I clean up my station, I just throw my trash bag in here and I'm good to go. Now I'm going to show you the other side. On this other side, it has this cool opening right here that opens all the way up. And you can actually put um, brushes here if you'd like. Um, but I don't really use this just because I have my own brush folio. Um, so yeah, I don't use that section right there. But right here, um, I just keep a cape. Um, this was like a shampoo cape that I got at the Saturday Supply Store. It was very long, but I chopped it off. Um, just in case my clients were to come with the clothing that they're going to use. Um, on their special day and I don't want to get any like loose powder on them. I will put that over um, Obviously around them just so I don't get their clothing dirty and I just keep that right here So on this big section right here. It's just a big opening. Um, so basically what I did is I used um, Bags to organize my makeup just kind of like in a Zuka. the Zuka bag comes with three um, plastic bags and basically I didn't have the Zuka bags obviously so I just went to my TJ Maxx and I was able to find three size bags that I worked perfectly for my kit and that's where I organize all of my makeup. Um, this is actually not meant for a makeup artist. It's actually supposed to be kind of like a brief for painters or something like that. That's what the lady at the Michaels store told me. And this I got for $60 which originally it's $100 but they had the 40% off that they usually always have. Um, so I purchased this for $60 which was a pretty good deal um, and I really really like it. So when you first open it right here, um, you have this and I thought this was perfect to put all of my Lorac um, lip, lip glosses. I love the formula of these lip glosses because they're not sticky. I hate when you have lip glosses that you feel like your lips get stuck together. Um, and right here on this section right here, I just keep all of my eyeliners and lip liners. And, I also, and right here, I keep my little... Um, spatulas for my mixing palette and these little spatulas are actually I believe they're meant to be for um, 
manicures. I don't know if you can see. Um, but they work perfectly to scoop out all of my products. And I got these at the Sally Supply Store for 49 cents, which you can't beat that. Um, but yeah, I, I lost one. I'm just going to put them in here for now. And then in here, um, the first thing you will see is I carry my makeup remover wipe. This first um, container that I have right here, I actually got from the dollar store and I think it's pretty cool. Um, this is where I store my little MAC puffs and I just put this one on my pinky um, just so that when I'm doing my client's makeup, I don't rest my finger on their face and ruin their makeup and I actually rest it on the puff. Um, and I also keep my pencil, well, my eyeliner sharpener and lip liner sharpener right here. And I like this one because this one's dual-sided. Um, and then I also keep um, some of my beauty blenders in here. I keep my Pro Beauty Blender and my two regular Pink Beauty Blenders and a Real Technique sponge. And I also keep some little cotton swabs here um this these are like the more pointier ones i really like those and then i also keep my little scissors here in case i need to like cut lashes if they're too long um and then i also keep my little tweezers um just in case i need to quickly pluck some brow hair some extra brow hairs um, so yeah, I keep those there and I just in case I've never used these before I keep some brow stencils So yeah, that's that first Container that I have in my kit my concealer slash contouring um, Bag this bag. I actually don't remember where I got it's really full. I need to get a bigger one I can't barely open it um, Let's see, but basically I also I keep a lot of my NYX um, gadget cover concealers. I have that in the medium shade and the darkest shade um, Just to mix and match and then I also keep my black radiance Concealers, I actually use these um, for contouring a lot of the time and I also have Let's see two NYX eyebrow gels in here um, I just keep them in here because I haven't have found a better home for them. Um, but I also have my Smashbox contouring and highlighting sticks here. Um, the other one's in here somewhere. I have the lightest shade and the Kat Von D concealer. And I have a lot of the LA Girl Pro concealers. I have the correcting ones in here. This is my eyelash bag um and in here i keep a lot of the demi 120 wispies i think those are beautiful um and if i wanted to make them more dramatic i also have the individual lashes that i can um add to the outer corners to make them a little bit more dramatic i have the la color lashes um, in numbers 980 and 975. This little toolbox right here, um, this little guy I actually got from Michaels as well, and this one was on sale for $6. It's kind of like my little um, cat, like extra things that are not makeup um, that I carry with. Tips in here, you can never have enough Q-tips. And then I also have some NYX matte blotting papers just in case. Um, and I keep those on this side right here. And then I also carry my hand sanitizer in here, my nail polish remover because you never know who might need it. Um, I keep my alcohol spray right here to disinfect after I'm using all of my eyeshadows and things like that. Um, I keep my alcohol bottle right here. Keep a small spray of water. And then on this side right here, I just keep a little mirror because um, you never know. Sorry if I'm blinding you guys. And on this side right here, I just have um, this little container. And I think this was like a soap container. Um, this one was 97 cents. And this is where I keep all of my business cards. Well, some of my business cards I keep in here. Um, as you can see, aren't they pretty? But yeah, those are my business cards right there. And then on this section right here, I keep some band-aids because you never know. I just keep some Nivea. Um, lotion for myself or my clients if they want any um, I just keep some scissors for whatever um, and in here in the middle I keep just this emergency sewing kit because um, I don't know you never know if your client might need it it had some buttons some safety pins etc 
And then I also keep my scotch tape in here. Some Tylenol for myself um, in here, just in this little container. I did put the expiration date right there. I labeled it um, just so I know. And then I also keep this Pure Eyes nail polish because you never know if a bright bridesmaid or the bride might need it um, if they get a chip nail or whatever. So yeah, I always I have those little things in here. Um, put that back here. And then on this section, I keep my antibacterial wet wipes. Um, just one of those. And then I keep some tissue paper right here. Um, I also keep like an like a nail kit um, just for emergencies again. I also have some bobby pins because you never know if they might need them after the hairstylist leaves. And I keep a mini lint roller just in case um, for the groom or whatever. So yeah, that's so all I keep in this little guy. Um, it's very convenient, it's really small because I see a lot of people carry the really, really big ones, but I don't know, for this, this is working out perfectly fine for me and I love it. So yeah. This is where I keep all of my brushes, this giant thing. This is actually called a portfolio. Um, and I really, really love this. Um, I actually have, let's see, I'll show you guys. I have a brush belt. Um, this one's from BH Cosmetics. I've had it for the longest time. I adore it. I love it. Um, it works beautifully. But whenever I'm doing like prom girls and all that kind of stuff, I need more, I guess, something that's more visible and for me to just grab onto. So I hopped on the wagon and I purchased the portfolio. This is so beautiful. So basically when I go and do, um, when, when I do prom girls, I usually have a setup and they come um, to my place and I do their makeup. This sits on the table like so and it's just way easier for me to find the brushes that I need. Um, please excuse my brushes. I did do makeup um, this morning and uh, this afternoon so I still need to go ahead and brush my babies. Um, but yeah, it's so convenient. Um, these will not like your brushes will not move um well, obviously if you take it out but they won't fall off by themselves i absolutely love it i keep all of my blending and um transition brushes right here my detail brushes right here and then my lip brushes right here and all of my powder face brushes right here and all of my other um smaller details favorite face brushes over here and then in here, I just carry my Laura Mercier powder because I haven't found a home for it. So I just kind of throw it in there. And I also have this Morphe 35B palette. Um, just in case I need some wild colors. I haven't used it yet, but just in case I get that, you know, request for some crazy colors, um, I have this. And then I also carry my All May Eye Makeup Remover Wipes. I absolutely love these wipes. This first bag right here is the smallest bag of the three bags that came in the $12.99 kit that I got at TJ Maxx. Um, so when I open this right here, in this bag, I basically keep all of my primers, setting, um, and setting sprays and all that kind of stuff that has to do with priming, moisturizing, and setting the face. I also keep my brush cleanser from MAC. Um, this is just in between when I have a lot of clients that I need to like quickly disinfect my brushes. Um, that's that. And then I also keep my Red or Die Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray in here. I have my Max Prep and Prime, which I'm running low on right there and then i have my mario badescu skincare setting spray and um in here as well i have my house of lashes um eyelash glue i absolutely love this glue i also have a bottle of my nivea men post shave balm um i put some of that in here just in case i want to use it on my clients um i also carry some makeup forever primers in here um, I have some Smashbox primers I also have my Estela all day prime and anti shine balm right here I have some more NYX blotting matte powders and I also have my Emberlease nourishing moisturizer this is basically for all skin types um just right before i apply any makeup i always go in with my moisturizer from embryo and i also carry some other um 
um, some other eye creams and things like that. I also have mini Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, another one. I love keeping little mini of things. And then I also have the Smashbox Oil Primer. This little tiny bottle right here. Um, I keep my MAC Eye Makeup Remover in here just in case. I have another Smashbox. This is my Smashbox Eye Primer. Um, I absolutely love this. I also carry my e.l.f. primer. Um, I have my gel primers. My gel... <laughs> excuse me. I have my gel eyeliners in here. So I have the Sephora Outrageous Intense Waterproof Eyeliner. And I also have the NYX Gel Eyeliner. And this is in the um, white shade. So I have my NYX Glitter Glue Primer. Love this thing. And yeah, so that's all of the stuff that's in here. These, This right here is where I keep all of my foundations. This is the second biggest bag from bag from the kit. Um, and as you will notice, I have a lot of the Black Radiance foundations. Um, that's because of the fact, as we all know, a lot of the high-end makeup brands don't really carry um, a lot of different shades for the darker skin girls. So I like to keep the Black Radiance just in case I don't um, have that shade, but I did purchase all of the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundations um, in the stick. All of the stick foundation shades I purchased from the lightest to the darkest, but just in case because they don't really give a vitality, I purchased the Black Radiance in case I need to mix and match my clients. Um, but I do have also the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet foundations. Um, I have the shade 70, 35, um, 51, 55, and the darkest shade 80. Um, I have those in here, and if I have, as you notice, I only have the 35, um, but that's because I also am waiting on my NYX foundation mixer. So that basically is like a white cream that you put with any foundation to make it lighter. Um, so that's why I went with the shade 35 because I, I can always mix and match to make the perfect shade that I need. But yeah, these are these uh, Makeup Forever Matte Velvet foundations are perfect for my oily clients. Um, and then I have two of the regular Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundations. I have this one in the shade Y205, which I believe is the lightest shade that they have. And I also have R240. Now this one is a very, very pink foundation. Like when you look at it, it's pink. <laughs> um, that I bought this just because of the fact, like I said, I like to mix and match my foundations. We all know that not every client is going to have the yellow undertone. And I don't like to force it. So if, because um, most of my foundations are yellow undertone, if I happen to have a client that's more of a neutral or a pinkish reddish undertone, then I can put this foundation because it's super pink and kind of blend it in to make it um, and match their their skin tone. I'm not going to put a yellow foundation on somebody that's very pink undertone. I'm going to mix and match until I get their perfect shade because I just think it's it's not cool when somebody uses a foundation and makes their clients look super yellow when we all know they have neutral or pink undertones. So yeah, this is why I carry this. But like again, we don't have a lot of people that have well, at least I don't have a lot of clients that have the pink undertone, but I keep it just in case. Um, as I mentioned, I have all of the Black Radiance Color Perfect foundations. They're oil free and I did my research and a lot of people, like these have really, really good reviews. Um, so yeah, I have all of the two free cream, two powder foundations. I just keep them in here because like I said, you never know. Um, and then these are all of my Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation sticks. I have all the 15 shades. Um, I keep them in here just in case, but I did depot um, like half of what came in each of the tubes. Um, so right here, this is a MAC Pro Palette that I got from the MAC store. Um, it was actually only $8, which is unbelievable. I think at one point they were $25 each. Um, so when you open it up on this section right here, I have all of my Makeup Forever Ultra HD stick foundations. I have, um, like I said, I depotted only half of it. Um, and on this other side right here, I labeled, so this one belongs to this, this um, belongs to this one. Um, so yeah, these are all of the 12 shades. And I think I'm actually missing one shade. I don't remember. If, 
Anyways, um, and over here, these are also Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundations. Um, this one is in the shade Y535, and this one's in the shade R530. And then over here, I have all of my NYX concealers. These are amazing concealers. I am still waiting um, for my package to arrive with my orange color corrector and two other of the concealer shades that I'm missing. Um, but yeah, this is basically my concealers and all of my Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation sticks. And again, I keep them in here just for sanitary purposes. Um, it's way easier to just kind of grab my spatula, put it in my mixing palette, and not have to actually put the actual stick foundation on my client's face just like I said for sanitary reasons um this is very convenient also I have this little mirror that I got from the sorry if I'm blinding you guys um I got this little mirror from the dollar store um it's very convenient just you know whenever I want to show my client their final look I have this like I said, it was only a dollar, so yeah, I keep this mirror in my kit. And biggest bag of the three pack. Um, this is where I keep all of my palettes. Um, I don't really have like a bag for just primers or just highlighters or brow stuff because I liked I like everything to be nice and compact. I prefer to buy things that come in palettes just so I can put them all in a bag and whenever I'm doing makeup and freelancing, I can just pull out all my palettes instead of having to like dig um, for different items from different bags, from multiple different bags. So yeah, it's more convenient for me. Just have some stuff up here because these are re recent purchases. Um, highlighter is in the shade Golden Lights. It was just kind of like a last minute purchase because it was so beautiful. I absolutely loved it. And this one is one of the Vivid Baked Bronzers. It's so beautiful. Just gives a nice pretty glow to the skin. So I just keep these in here because I haven't um, depotted them or anything like that. I have these three pressed powders from Black Rayons. Um, these I would use for contouring or um, bronzers, things like that. So I have those in here just in case. Um, and then I also have this BH, Com BH Cosmetics brush blush palette. Um, I don't really reach for it, but it's a very, very pretty palette. It has a, bit, a bunch of different shades that um, I can mix and match. So yeah, I keep this in here for just in case. I have my Lorac Pro Contour Palette in here. Um, I know it's very messy, but I I try to like clean it, but this I don't know I doesn't the stains don't come off um, But yeah, this is my Lorac Pro palette and then I also keep my glow kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills This is absolutely beautiful and it's perfect. Um, I absolutely love this highlight kit um, Another Anastasia product. Um, this is my brow my brow pro palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills as any shit I can possibly think of for my brows um, I absolutely love this palette this is how it looks like from the inside um, and it also has like the brow primer like a little wax consistency just in case you have very spare brows you put that before and then you put your brow powder just to make it last so I have that for brows. These are all of my MAC um, palettes that I have stored uh, many different things and I absolutely love to depot a lot of the things that I have just because it's more convenient than to be carrying all these different products. Um, so on this first one, it says blushes and contour right here. I labeled these myself. On this section right here, I have my NYX Cosmetics blushes and I also have some Too Faced blushes right here and on this section right here I have some more NYX and some Too Faced um, bronzers. Next palette holds all of my golds and pink um, eyeshadows. So these are many different eyeshadows that I have depotted from different palettes um, or single eyeshadows that I have purchased. Um, this is where I keep all of my pink eyeshadows. These are single eyeshadows that I've bought. Um, these are a lot of these are the Tarte eyeshadows. Some of these are the from the Naked 2 palette that I depotted. Um, and then on this other section over here, this is where I keep all of my golds um, and some yellows. I have um, some Makeup Geek eyeshadows. This one is the Ma Magic Act. I think this one's um, what's the name of this one? Let me see. This one's Grandstand and 
That one is Grandstand, this one is Magic Act, and I have many other different single eyeshadows that I have purchased. Next palette right here, this is where I keep my greens and matte eyeshadows. Um, so on this section right here, I keep all of my Tarte um, eyeshadows, and these are all in the matte shades. Um, some of these are Anastasia Beverly Hills, and some of them are my Tarte. And on this other side over here, this is where I keep all of my green, greens and blues and browns. Um, so I have these glitters as well. This palette right here, this is where I keep all of like my Makeup Geek eyeshadows, my matte Makeup Geek shadows. And then I also have this very pretty Urban Decay eyeshadow. This one's Midnight Cow Cowboy. This is such a pretty shade. And this is one of my favorite eyeshadows. This one's from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is Pink Champagne. And all of these other eyeshadows are from Makeup. This True Complexion Contour Palette. Um, I don't really dig for it. But I just have it in just in case. And I also have my Shit and Light palette by Kat Von D in here. Um, as you can see, I absolutely love this shade. But yeah, that's that. And last but not least, this is my lip palette. Um, this palette I absolutely love. Um, this is where I have all of my lip shades that I've depotted. Uh, most of these are from Lorac, and a lot of them are Maybelline, um, just and NYX Cosmetics. I absolutely love. Here, this is where I keep all of like my neutrals, pinks, and mauvey colors, and some purples. Um, and on this other section over here. This is where I keep my deep reds and my corals and pinks, my bright pinks. Um, and down here, I just keep this very pretty shimmery gold um, lipstick that I can just put in the center to add more of a glow to the lip. And right here, I just keep my Bird's Bees lip balm. I just depotted that as well just to keep in there and scoop out some and put it on my, my client's lips. Um, and I have some more spots for more lip colors. So as you can see, all I love my palettes fit in here. Um, I love this bag. Um, it was only like I said $60 compared to all the other big name brands that are like $250. Um, I absolutely love it. It's very sturdy. The handle is quite nice. Um, nice and long and the wheels are very sturdy as well. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my what's in my makeup kit video. This is my first um, freelance makeup kit, so you know, by no means is it ever gonna stay this way. Um, this is kinda like my personal starter kit. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you have any like tips, or what things I missed, or if you guys wanna know more about other things that I probably didn't mention in here, or if you guys are just starting out your kit and want some advice, um, just comment down below and I would be more than happy to answer all your questions. Um, I love you guys so much. Please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys on my next video.